Hey, welcome to Cooking with Mike. Uh, forewarning, this episode is going to be long, but I wanted to do something special for Easter, so I hope you guys enjoy. We're making a rum ham. Step one, we're going to be putting the rum in a pot for like four minutes till it boils. A lot of people saying, oh, you don't cook enough with alcohol. Well, here you go. This is for you. Talk about spiced rum. Hey, while that's going on, we're going to be mixing molasses, salt, and brown sugar into a mixing bowl. Uh, that's going to take a while to pour a fourth of a cup, so I didn't plan ahead. I don't know why there's a fucking rabbit on molasses. The phrase is slow as molasses. I mean, look at that shit. That's not fast at all. God damn. All right, once your rum's done boiling, you got all that mixed up. Just pour that in together. We're going to mix it all together. Please don't spill. We're going to mix that together and make a little brine. Next up, you want to take your ham. I got a spiral ham because I'm a fan of Mystic Spiral. But uh, get your spiral ham, put it in a baking bag, pour your brine on top. You're going to want to swirl that brine around in that bag, make sure that ham's fucking soaked. And uh, this is going to sit in your fridge for a whole day. So uh, we'll be ready to cook it tomorrow on Sunday. I know what you're saying. Whoa, Mike, i got to wait a whole day to watch you destroy your liver to make some food? I don't want to do that. That's not why I came here. Well, don't worry. Hey, welcome to Cooking with Mike. In the meantime, while we're waiting a day for that ham, I'm going to make some wings, dude. Let's do it. Step one, fill a pot up with some pot, fucking whatever you got. Fill something up with oil and heat it up. And don't, don't use massage oil, you want to use vegetable oil. While your oil's heating up, you want to start getting your wings ready. Now I'm going to cut these up, um, mainly because you get more, and I also like to pretend it's every bird that ever shit on my car. That got dark. I don't condone violence towards animals. Unless they shit on your car, I just got it. Now the key to cooking with anything with hot oil is uh, to be shirtless because it adds a sense of danger to it. So here, next you want to drop your wings in the oil. Now um, this is where it gets a little dangerous. So uh, we'll see what's uh, going on. Oh, we're good. Beastie boys known to let the wings mm, drop. Ow, ow. That hurt. Once you uh, get all your wings in there, cover that up. And uh, now we're going to play a waiting game and also a judging game. Go by skin color. That's how I live life. That got racist. I didn't mean it like that. Um, I mean, when you get done frying your chicken, obviously you don't want it to be white. That means it's not done. You want it to be like a golden brown, like a DJ Khaled now, you know? It's a nice uh, PBR, 1812, I believe. It's a good year and some captain. Out of a duck. Oh, it's so gross. Our wings are starting to get a little golden. Uh, some of them are still white. You want to be making sure you're flipping them. Uh, you don't want white in this. No whites allowed. That's the kind of golden brown I'm talking about. Now you want to take these out of the fryer, put them in a bowl. I use a magazine because it doesn't stick as much as paper towels. Also, I like knowing the missing kids are eating food at some point. Once you dab up all that oil with the magazines, um, you want to use some Frank's Red Hot, just a little bit. And uh, if you can get a hold of this, this is some of the best hot sauce for wings, I think, in my personal opinion. Once you got that covered up, you want to do the little, the old wing trick, the old flip. That wasn't a flip. The flip. Damn it. The flip. I'm not good at it. And there you have it. The wings are done. This has been Cooking with Mike, uh, the first part. I'll catch you tomorrow for uh, Easter. So, peace. Hey, we're back. I'm very hungover. Things got weird last night at the club. I danced my ass off. I hit on a girl I thought was a girl. <laughs> Turns out. Step whatever we're on. Ah, that ham's been sitting in that rum shit we made. Uh, put it in a baking pan and preheat your oven to 350. We're gonna put that in the oven for like, I don't know, some amount of time. We're gonna check it like every hour. Um, in like 30 minutes, we'll start making everything else. Our ham's still cooking. Uh, next, we're gonna work on some mashed potatoes, start boiling some water, start boiling some potatoes. Uh, first, you're gonna have to peel that, so uh, get ready. Got our potatoes in. You wanna let that sit till it's soft, so um, I don't know how long that takes. Uh, usually, I go soft in about two minutes, you know what I'm saying? While we got that going, uh, we got some corn going. Same situation, cook that till it's soft. I usually go soft in about two minutes, you know what I'm saying? I already did that. Still got our potatoes going, still got our corn going. We're gonna work on the glaze for our fucking ham. I got three burners going. I'm the real fucking deal. Uh, brown sugar mustard rum. All right, we took our ham out of the oven. Let's see how that's looking. 
Ooh. God damn. You want to take that glaze once it's done? Uh, coat your ham in it. And uh, sometimes I bullshit. That glaze is fucking amazing. That got weird, and I apologize. <laughs> now your potatoes are all soft and drained. We're gonna start smashing them down, and then we're gonna be adding some fucking milk and butter. Baby, let's go. That's my bread and butter, but milk and butter. Oh, the stir game is strong. Fuck. All right, once it's all done, uh, feel free to make yourself a plate and enjoy. This has been Cooking with Mike. Happy Easter, everybody. This tastes like shit.